or Terrier, a very late equaliser, but that was the least you deserved today. A good performance from your side. Yeah, well, it was certainly entertaining. I think in the two games that um, you know we've had at home, it's, uh, it's certainly been a roller coaster. So, first half, I thought we was excellent. I thought the um, the football we played, I thought the new group, the recruits that we brought in, um, all contributed to a, a really sort of free flowing attacking team and we're trying to do it a little bit different we're trying to you know we're trying to force Arta to play out from the back and you know we're looking uh, to spread uh, we're looking to gain a little bit more possession of the football as well and it's probably uh, something maybe a little bit different than the supporters have seen for it while because we've been really sort of chasing games and again our sort of old adage come back to haunt us where you've got a team a little bit to the sword we had I mean James Hayter today I was you know I had a sort of go at James at half time because normally he's very clinical, gozzy as well. We missed a couple of chances that was more than guilt edged. Um, and when you're up in a game and the momentum's behind you, we could have put Julian to bed. But the recent run of form that they've had, they, they, they don't give up and you know again it was um, it was a free kick on the edge, the lads hit it well, Artus made a great save and we should be following in there. But um, give them credit, they came back and then they came back even stronger after that. They penned us in, they sort of Another team that's changed formation against us and matched us up and turned us and locked us in and made it really tough for us to play our football. But when the second goal went in and you know we brought Adam Morgan out from the, the cold and he's been training really well for the last couple of weeks. He's been getting his fitness up. He's had his head down sort of under me and um, it was almost you know the script was written for him, wasn't it? But the thing I've got to say is that the again the supporters were magnificent today. And because of the way we're trying to do things and the way we're trying to play football, you know, there was no there was no booing at the end of that game. They was entertained with a tinge of disappointment that we nearly threw the game away. But they're seeing they're seeing chances. They're seeing a team that's really going for it, and you know they can see that everyone everyone on the on the playing fields behind us as a staff. So we've lost a point. I know that. Um, it's gone to five points now, so when you look at the bigger picture of things, we're disappointed, but the level of performance today and the level of football that we played was really pleasing from a staff point of view. It's Adam Morgan's first appearance since last season. Just how close was he to leaving the club, Terry? Yeah, I mean, listen, things, things happen in football and he had a few chances to go out and, and play on loan and, and didn't really take them opportunities. Um, it was, it was, it probably was very close. And um, but for whatever reason, he's. I said that when I took over, I'd give everyone a chance, and that means everyone. I can't all of a sudden um, say yeah, everyone's got a clean sheet and then and then limit someone else. So I just said if you step out of line with me, then you, you'll have the same fate. And um, he hasn't so far. He's, he's got his head down, and you know he's. It was a brave lad for stepping up in that yeah, moment and taking a penalty because yeah, I certainly, um, I don't know if you see, but I actually walked out of the ground. So I just thought, God, I just... Well, where did you go? I went down the tunnel because I couldn't watch it. So, um, <laughs> and then when Adam Morgan picked the ball up, I think I walked even further. I, I thought, I'm not turning back. So, um, yeah. nah, listen, the lad's got, he, he's definitely got self-confidence and he went up and there was no <coughs> Balotelli situation. Um, Hapes was actually the penalty taker and he was off the field, so we hadn't actually discussed that. So Morgan <laughs> picking the ball up was, uh, in the end, was a, a good decision. And how pleased were you with the impact of your three new signings today, all, all contributed? Yeah, well, yeah, I think you could see, we were talking before the game, and, um, I was really excited to see how Josh Sheehan would do today. And uh, you thought he might have been a bit higher, but you can see from that deeper role he is, he has got them quarterback passes, he can spot a pass. He can um, he can also tackle. He put in a great tackle um, in the I think it was in the deep right hand corner where he went in for a 50-50. So you know I mean I don't want to sort of over egg him after one game, but he's a little bit reminds me of that sort of Ryan Mason esque type character that really sharp on the ball and, and create opportunities. So going forward now, it's obviously Scunthorpe next, but you're pleased with the progression from obviously disappointment at Doncaster, but sort of performance today. Yeah, I think that's why we had to be a little bit more ruthless with the with the current squad and bring in these new faces because it was stale and it was a it was a we would have petered out. I know we would have petered out because if there's no competition and you're playing, it doesn't matter how bad you play, you know you're going to get picked the next week. And um, 
that had to change. And we've changed the environment of the of the of the club. We're bringing in so many new faces, but listen. At the end of the day, we've got to try and pick up results. And we were disappointed not to get three points today at home. Games are running out thick and fast, and you know, with, with, with teams getting good results against big teams, we need to start following suit. So. Um, pleased with, with how they played, pleased with the performance, but disappointed that we've given up a little bit of ground on the teams above the line.